I would like to bring the attention of the house to the case of Sri Nambi Narayan, a stark reminder of how motivated petty vindictiveness can uproot and put back years of scientific development and innovation. It puts fear in the hearts of people and discourages them from carrying forward the works of their leaders, lest they be termed traitors to the nation themselves. Even though he has been cleared of all the charges, the years lost fighting the allegations took an obvious toll on his health and reputation, sir. The country lost out as well on the possible immense contributions this brilliant mind could have made to our space program. Sir, we live in strange times when Thank the you. corrupt are putting the honest and sincere in jail, sir. We see a similar chain of events unfold in my state of Andhra Pradesh, where our beloved leader Chandrababu Naidu, who worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, Please. have been jailed. Sir, if I am speaking anything unparliamentary, you have the right to expunge it, sir. But I am not speaking anything unparliamentary. Please. Please. Within my limits of being a parliamentarian, I am speaking in this house, sir, who has worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, has been jailed on trumped up charges, which is an obvious case of regime revenge litigation. What incentives do young leaders like me have when honesty is being impeached? On the other hand, another leader from my state, surrounded by psychophants, will be celebrating 10th year anniversary of being out please, on bail please. this 23rd September for looting our country of 43,000 crores, sir. <coughs> sir, respected sir, we need to fix our system no, before please, it conclude. is taken for granted. Sir, please, two lines and I am please concluding. Conclude, please conclude. Concluding, sir. Sir, many of them who have benefited from CBN's policies and leadership over the years have come out on the streets to show their concern over his arrest. Not only in Andhra Pradesh, but in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, not only in India, but cities across USA, UK, Australia yes, and many other countries. Now there is support pouring in, sir. Through you, I appeal to the members of this August House to raise their voices collectively against the grave oh, no. injustice and one blatant assassination one, one, one second, of democracy one, one second. unfolding I'm in Andhra Pradesh. You please, he is not speaking anything unparliamentary. Within the, please, you can dispute it. You can dispute. Suppose anything. No, no, anything and parliamentary objection, it will be looked into. But unnecessarily, you don't create noise because you can very well dispute it after when your turn comes. You... No, 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 no. He is comparing Nambi Narayan's case. Let me conclude, no, no. sir. Let me conclude. Please, please, let him complete. Let me conclude. You conclude. You let me conclude, sir. Yeah. Last, last four and a half years, I am seeing, sir. The members of parliament after, from after, ICP, after his their speech, only agenda is to you can stop me say. and my members from speaking. There is nothing else. Yes, yes, I'll just conclude. Very last point, sir. As I conclude, I am reminded of Martin Luther King's quote. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, sir. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you very much.